what is up guys so today we have a cool project we are going to convert this 12 volt computer fan into a portable fan that we can use to ventilate the fumes from soldering so let's do it okay so the idea is that we're gonna use this fan it's an 80 millimeter fan that a friend gave to me um, and in order to power it, I want to use one of the things that are more commonly found around the house, which is, you know, USB adapter. So most USB wall adapters that are, you're going to find that you use to power your phone and stuff are around, you know, one, five, uh, well, USB has five volts and then it, it gives you around one amp of current uh, unless you use like an iPad charger or whatever. But this fan uses 12 volts and consumes um, 0.3 amps, so 300 milliamps of power, of uh, current, sorry. Um, so in order to do that, in order to power 12 volt fan with five volt supply, we are gonna need one of these. And this is a boost, what is called a boost converter. And I got this off of Amazon for like four bucks or less. And what this does is it takes a voltage in and then it um, boosts it up to whatever voltage you want, anywhere between like four and 30 volts for this particular model. Um, so here, so we have this. Now, in order to plug it in, we're gonna need, you know, one of these female plugs. Um, now, I've already gone ahead and soldered the plug that we're gonna use, um, but in summary, the, the USB has three five wires, right? Um, but we're only interested in two. The VCC, which is the five volt power charge um, end, and then the ground, right? So if you, so you're gonna need just the pin, and those two are at the ends. So we're only gonna need one and the other. And in order to find out which end is what, when you look at it, I don't know if you see, like, it, it kind of has a trap, like a trapezius shape, right? So the flat, the long end is on the top and the short end is on the bottom. And when you align it like that, the, the side on the left is the one that has the five volts and the one on the right is the one that has the ground. So it actually took a little bit of work to solder this, but it worked out. So let's plug this in. All right, so we're all plugged in and now we can go ahead and see if we have a successful connection. So we are expecting five volts. Oh, sorry, my bad. I was measuring something else. Um, all right, so yeah, five volts. Awesome. Okay, now, so in order to connect the boost converter, I have connected the positive and the negative ends to the positive and the negative ends of the inside, right? So you have an arrow that tells you what's the input and what's the output. So you connect your leads on the input, right? Positive positive negative and now I'm going to connect the output ones to our multimeter there we go so we originally have 5 voltage here and now we have 11.8 volt volts coming out on this end now in order to adjust the voltage um, there's a little screw over here and we can take a little screwdriver and then as you as you turn it you can see that the voltage is changing right so we can go higher see now I have almost 14 volts or I can go lower to 11 volts but what we really want is 12 volts for our fan and I mean just to be safe I'm gonna leave it at 11.9 because I don't want to blow the fan just in case so this is our fan and let's connect it over here. So we got the positive to the positive, the negative to the negative. So this is a computer fan. So we're gonna have the positive, a negative, and this is the one, the data, right? So um, usually it tells you like the temperature or the speed or whatever. Now, if we had five volts going to the fan, it wouldn't move, right? Because it doesn't have enough juice. Right, but now we should be having 11.9 volts coming to the fan. So, 
There we go. It works. Alright guys, so now that we've seen that this works, we're gonna go ahead and design the casing and put it all back together all together on the next video. So stick around. See you later. If you like this or any of my other videos, please check out my GoFundMe campaign. All the proceeds go towards my education. You can click here for that. Or if you want, you can do it through PayPal in the description below. Speaking of that, don't forget to check out the description below for relevant links and important details. While you're down there, make sure to leave me all your comments, questions, or suggestions so I can keep making better content for you. Finally, make sure you click that thumbs up and share it with anybody that you think would be interested. And subscribe if you haven't done so yet. You can click over here for other videos and playlists that you might find interesting. See you next time.